welcome to another hiking adventure here on Chris on Tour. I was recently hiking the PCT around 1000 kilometers in 35 days and now I'm in Montenegro. It's the beginning of October and I'm hiking the peaks of the Balkan Trail. I'm actually on it right now here. I um, started in Plav, Montenegro. The trail is 192 kilometers long and it's going through um, three countries, Montenegro, Albania and also Kosovo. Did some shopping in a local supermarket. It was really funny because nobody really speaks English up here in Plav. It's not super touristic. Montenegro is uh, really just very touristic on the coast, especially in Kotor. But up here in the mountains in the northeast, there's not too many tourists, so only a few people speak English. You have to get a permit to cross the border because there's no official border crossing. I went to the police station here. I got the permit there for like five, five euros. It worked out, I've got the document and now I'm ready to go. So let's head out. Finally made it out of the forest and now we're in the open here with the sun again. I don't know what it is but some kind of plant. It looks really pretty. I'm gonna go up that mountain now. I think then we're gonna hike on a plateau. The path is getting uh, pretty steep now. Got a nice view on the other side. This is our way, all the way to the top of this one. And then it's gonna be flat to Borda Peak. Look at all these red colors, it's so amazing. And the mountains in the background. By the way, now we've got really good weather. When I arrived, it was uh, actually two rainy days. Ah, and I got a new hat. <laughs> it's a bit more lightweight than my PCD hat, uh, which I forgot in Alaska on my last day in Alaska. Man, man, man. If you haven't seen my Alaska videos, by the way, I'm gonna link them to you in the top right corner. I've done quite some hiking the last months. And now I'm, yeah, with a new, new pants, new boots, and new hat. Everything's new, new uh, camera bag. Got this microphone here for the first time. Really curious if it will help with the wind, especially here in the mountains. So far, I haven't really been the wind, so. <laughs> I'm headed to Bora Peak now, it's around 2,100 meters. Um, heading this way here. There's another path going down there. You can see a little house, maybe a small farm. Um, but the peak of the Balkans is going this direction here. And yeah, I'm gonna take a small break, you know. It's getting quite cold already. During the day, it's around 20 degrees here now in October. And at night, it will go down to about zero. So that's a uh, good. Warm up, <laughs> warm up for Nepal, uh, my next destination in a month from now, because it's gonna get much cooler there. <laughs> my spring where I want to camp, ideally, is down there. to spring here but still in a steep part 
can see some flat uh, grass down there, so I guess I have to go a bit further. And my feet hurt. Just sitting at home for five weeks got rid of all of my PCT hiking stamina. Oh, well, let's get some water. It's only 6.30 but already really dark. Uh, yeah, winter's coming I would say. Uh, walked around 24.5 kilometers, uh, pretty nice for the first day. Still have to get used to my new boots. I'm in a bit of pain right now, hopefully it's gonna be better tomorrow. Uh, tend to set up and I've got a pretty sweet view here. Sadly the sunset is kind of over. You can see a little bit of color left, but I'm just gonna eat a bit and then go into my bed. It's all set up, luckily, and tomorrow wake up early, see how far we can get in the morning. Good night. Good morning! Yeah, the sun is just coming up here on uh, Dobra Colate. Yeah, and I'm not gonna go up there because I had to go about 300 meters down to come to my campsite here just past the spring. And I just don't feel like going up again just to come down here on the same way. Now we're gonna go down the valley here. It's about a kilometer to the next village and then uh, probably get some fresh food there. So let's go! Our first view on Busanji here, uh, at least on the outskirts I guess. That's the direction the peaks of the Balkans trail is going. I wanna do some side trips in the Proketle National Park. It's, well, we're already in Natural Park since yesterday, but the highlight is just behind that mountain range. So that one will be another thousand meter climb. Here we are, Wuzhan, yeah. It's like uh, very quiet here. It's not a single person on the road and surrounded by the mountains here. Pretty nice location. Now we'll go to the next village and then maybe get some breakfast there, let's see, and up into the mountains again. I made a new friend here. <laughs> but not too many cars coming. The first one is coming right now, actually. <laughs> Got a lift with that uh, with these guys, and they're working here. There's like brand new tourist uh, houses, so you can see Montenegro's on the rise. That's also why I want to invest here. I'm a little bit closer to the next city here. It's still probably going to be like two or three kilometers, but I don't mind walking this to be honest. Got a quick ride again. We're right at the start of the hike here and look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I'm gonna hike up over there and then do a tour a little bit through Albania and come back in this valley here actually. I'm gonna go up on this side. But this is gonna be amazing guys. So quick side trip here. This is not part of the peaks of the Balkan uh, hike normally but I think it's a must do so. Just left the cool and shady forest and now we're getting out into the open here. What a nice view already again. And this is actually an important spot here in case you want to do this hike as well. The path to the next peak is oh, here on the left but on the right here there's also some way marker that I... I actually... Wulusnika, Wulusnika, that's the peak that we're going to actually. So that's going over here. But if you're like me and you only brought one liter of water you might want to turn right here because in 300 meters from now there's a spring and that's where I'm going now because I only have a liter of water. I drank the first liter up here. I'm gonna drink another liter there and then a third liter should be fine for yeah the way back to the valley. Let's get some water. Beautiful rocks here and we've got the first view on Talianka. That's uh, one of the peaks that I'm gonna pass. It's gonna be the highest point I think as well, around 2050 meters. 
It's the one on the left here. And you can see people walking on the ridge between the two summits. Get up first on this side. Here we go, the first absolute highlight. We're on top of Alusnica now. It's 1,876 meters. Yeah, exactly. And uh, look at the view. It's just <laughs> breathtaking. These jagged peaks rising up. It really looks like Patagonia, in my opinion. And if you look over there, that's the ridge where I wanted to originally sleep. But the people from downstairs told me that there are actually bears and also wolves in that area. So they told me I should not sleep alone here in my tent. That's the peak that we're going to go to next and then we're going to go down on the other side through Albania. Really, really love this view here. I'm going to chill out here for a while before I keep moving. I wonder how my dead cat is working with the wind here because it is quite windy right now. Just walking along another little ridge here, kind of steep on both. No, actually only on this side. Next viewpoint here, the sun is coming out again luckily. And the name of these amazing looking mountains is Karanfil, so that's the name of that range here. And we can see both all the way up here to the next hill and then after that we have our final hill. We can also look down into the valley from here now. I think this is Albania down there already. And a nice view looking back to the two hills. That we just crossed just amazing here oh man let's hope the sun will stick around for the top we're getting close to talianka the highest point of this hike here right there behind me now right here we have a nice clear view now we're gonna go down uh, from there the summit is exactly the border the top of the summit so this is montenegro this is albania Alright, I found the view that I wanted to find, Google uh, search view, <laughs> looking back to the ridge here and having the awesome mountains in the background. Man, this is so nice, I'm really, really excited. I made it to the top, that was uh, not too far and I'm really hungry now so I'm gonna eat my Franca Koso Kososka Kobasika Rinfu sausage.
pretty good. Mm. So I'm done with the sausage, it was really good actually. And yeah, I'm on the flat summit. It's such a nice 360 degree panorama view. This one here, obviously the highlight in my opinion, but all the rest is just super, super nice as well. We have a clear view into uh, Albania here now. And yeah, I can just see like hundreds of different paths going up here to this peak. A lot of people are going down this way here. And yeah, um, tomorrow I'm gonna head over there towards Albania to continue the peaks of the Balkan trek. But everyone who's doing the, this trek really has to add a side trip to Prokiatele National Park. I really hope I'm pronouncing this correct. Because this is already so amazing. I'm really curious how it will compare to the rest. I'm gonna have around 10 more days hiking here in this area. And then I'm gonna go to Dormito, which is the famous mountain area here in Montenegro. More than this area, but it's already so, so nice here. <laughs> Let's see if it's gonna be able to top this. Just go down a pretty steep part here. At some point we have to turn left. It's like it's gonna stay steep. <laughs> I made it down the steep part and I nearly took the wrong way because um, maybe you can see it from here, but there's like tons of game trails where the animals uh, walk down. And just over there at that white rock, kind of looked like it's going down there, but luckily I didn't go there. <laughs> that would have been really steep. And I can see the, 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 the path markers here again, so. If you get to this spot make sure to come down the right way you kind of have to stay right one more hour through the valley and then i should be back at the cabin passing some rocks here and this looks like a really cool area for both climbing and bouldering because there's not much bouldering or climbing happening in montenegro i checked before apparently there's some stuff in the east of uh Podgerica, the capital and that's about it i think if i move here maybe i can find some climbing friends and start some climbing up here. Would be a really cool spot you could camp. It's not far if you go like from the from the cabins. Pretty good path to come down here so far and now we can really nicely see how steep this rock is. And I'm down into the valley now. And according to my map, this right here on the this exact spot where I'm standing right now, that's the border again. So Albania came down from up there and back to Montenegro. Okay, there's actually another 300 meter drop here. Looks quite high actually, so that was just a, a short flat path, but we still have to climb down quite a bit. We can see the kissing cats for the first time, but I think further down the valley we're gonna have a better view. And I'm not sure if I'm still on the right path, because I'm sliding down some rocks here in a very steep part. According to my GPS, I'm not on the right path. And I was reading a trip report and they said that if you do this trail in this direction, it would be fun to come down the travel rocks and I can only imagine that they took the same route here. Let's see where I end up. Whew, this is actually fun. Uh, I would, all, I'm only doing this because I could see tracks from other people and you can nicely see when people slide down here. It's like a bit more black. And I think I'm nearly getting into the forest again and then it's all good. <laughs> I'm back on the main trail guys. Man, that was uh, good fun, good workout, but also, you know, in these mountain situations where you get to steep parts and you kind of know you're off the path a little bit maybe. Yeah, you never know what could happen, you know, but that loose gravel was kind of nice. There's even a bench here now. <laughs> wow. And there we are again, back to the start here. It's 6.30. Super dark already. This is where I started. Yeah, came back from here. And I'm back at the lodge now. I hope you liked it. Leave a like, leave a comment if you did. And yeah, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Next Sunday, I'm trying to upload every Sunday. Sometimes if I'm in the mountains, sometimes it doesn't work, but 
Yeah, fingers crossed, the second part of my Montenegro series is coming out on Sunday. It's gonna continue my journey on the peaks of the Balkans Trail, which I'm gonna start tomorrow again, or continue tomorrow again. And now I'm just gonna have some dinner here, hopefully. It looks pretty empty. Let's see, maybe we can still get some dinner. That would be awesome. And see you tomorrow. Or see you next Sunday for you. You made it to the end of the video. That's awesome. Thank you so much. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button as well. Leave me some feedback in the comments and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. A special shout out to my Patreon supporters as well. If you would like to find out how you can support me and receive monthly benefits such as receiving postcards from me or me being your own personal trip planner, then check out the link below.